Hey, Juan, man, obviously, you know, nothing has come easy to you in your career, uh, you know, dating all the way back to high school. Uh, you were clearly really excited this morning. You tweeted about it, 5.30 in the morning, you were up and awake. What was that feeling when you put pen to paper today, knowing all that you've gone through and how it wasn't, like, it wasn't an easy route and you really had to pull it out the mud? Man, that's a great question. Uh, I mean, I think I felt every emotion. Um, I was happy, excited, uh, very emotional. Um, obviously, this is the most. I don't. I, I mean, I, obviously, you guys watch me play. You know, I don't play for the money, but like this is the most money I've ever made in my life, or I've ever, you know. So I know that I can do a lot of things with this type of money to help my family, and that's what I've always been about, man. Since I grew up on 95th, you know. Uh, there was 15 people in that house, in a three-bedroom house. And, you know, man, I just grew up out the, in the mud. And so it's just it's a different life, but not even for myself, man. I'm just super excited to be able to help my little brother. Uh, you know, he just got his license a week ago. And, you know, some, I don't know. It, it might be a small gesture to me, but I, didn't, I wasn't able to get a car at the age of 18. I didn't even get my first car until I was 26 years old. You know, and so little things like that, man, I'll be able to help my little brother get a car. You know, that's going to change his life. He's going to be able to get a job. He's going to be able to be mobile. He's going to be able to be a young man, be a young adult, not having to depend on mom. Uh, and so it's the little things like that that I think about. You know, uh, I'm just super excited, obviously, for myself to be on the team and continue to play basketball. But uh, it's just a life-changing a uh, contract is just a life-changing signature, you know. Um, and there's more work to be done. Uh, I get kind of paranoid in situations like this because I am happy, but now the real work starts now. You know, I feel – I don't want to say I feel pressure because I don't feel pressure, but I feel like there's more that I need to do. I need to raise the bar. Um, I always said when I first was able to step up to this podium and do interviews that I wanted to be – a a guy who establishes himself in this league and is not just here for, you know, preseason or a 10 day or a call up. And so uh, that's the first step. I've gotten through the first step to put myself in a situation to be here for another year. And so now I'm working to continue and have longevity in this league. And so, like I said, there's a bit of paranoia, like I need to really now kick it into another gear. So. Uh, with all that being said, though, man, I'm super excited. I could sit here and talk all day about how excited I am for myself, how excited I am for my friends and my family. Uh, and I know Oakland is super proud of me. And so, uh, man, it's just a combination of so many emotions. It's just, it's just really exciting. You you played well enough this season where, I mean, you theoretically could have tested the open market. Um, why I mean, was it – did you always know, like, it's 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 got to stay with the Warriors, basically? No, I didn't always know that um, because it is a business. And so luckily I've been able to play uh, some years within, not in the NBA, but in the basketball business prior to coming here. But, I mean, this is where my heart is, man. I'm an East Oakland kid. I'm a warrior. I've been – I'm a warrior for life, man, you know. So regardless if, you know, I'm here for the rest of my career or I'm just here for another year, like this is always going to be a part of my heart and a part of me, who I am. You know, I grew up idolizing Larry Hughes. Now I get to play with Stephen Curry. Like, you just don't say no to things like that, man. And, you know, uh, I've, I've, I'm sure there were some more opportunities out there for me, but uh, this is home for me. Everybody has made me feel at home. Uh, Steve has never, ever made me feel like I was on two-way. Uh, none of the coaches, none of my teammates, you know, Dre, Steph, Clay, they all taken me under their wing. and. You know, they really make me feel a part of this. So uh, it was a no-brainer for me. I don't care about the money, man. Somebody could have offered me $15 million. Nah, I ain't going to say that. <laughs> but somebody could have offered me, you know, a significant amount of money, but I think I would have still chose to be here, man. I love it here. I love the Bay. I love the Warriors. Uh, and I love my teammates. I love it. Like I said, it's just it was a no-brainer for me. Well, you kind of alluded to the – oh, sorry, Gary. No, why don't you go ahead? Thank you. Um, you alluded to it just, you know, being a kid from Oakland, you were part of the Warriors Youth Program. What does this franchise and this organization mean to you as a person, regardless of being a 
now a full-time roster member. Just what is it, how has that impacted your life? Uh, I mean, now it's a more personal impact, but I grew up going to games, so it, it gave me dreams. You know, uh, just from a very young kid, like, I always wanted to walk in the Oracle onto that court donning an NBA jersey. You know, I never imagined they would be wearing a Warrior jersey. And so um, just the Warriors themselves for what they are, they, they've given me dreams. They've given me an idea of where I wanted to be in my life and what I wanted to do. And so, uh, man, Miss Addos, if you're out there watching, like I'm so thankful to you because you changed my life. You know, I was just a kid going to Stonehurst Elementary. A kid pulled out a knife on me in second grade and my mom made me transfer. And then I met this lady and she just changed my life. So she's a, a direct extension of the Warriors. You know, her husband is a Warriors legend. So the Warriors mean everything to me. And now I'm on this team is just like, it's a, it's a storybook. It's a movie. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it means everything to me. I'm just extremely happy to now be taking a step forward in my life and like, you know, be here and have some prolonged time here looking forward. I know you had a successful career in Mexico, but when was the last time you knew where you would be playing the next season? This is the first time in my career. And so, uh, man, people don't even realize how stressful that is. You know, uh, I never ever got really gotten a summer, have gotten a summer since I left for college. Buzz made us stay and do summer school every year. And then after I was playing pro, I was playing national team. I was picking up odd jobs and all over the world. And so um, now that I have an actual schedule, I'm able to just really just sit back and relax. For the first time in my life, I'm talking about going on vacation with my family. Uh, we've never been on, I've never been anywhere with my mom other than Disneyland. You know, that was vacation to us. That was a huge vacation to us growing up. And so now I'm, I feel extremely fortunate to be able to, like, I can pretty much take my mom anywhere she wants in the world. And so those are the type of things that I get excited about. I get excited to be able to hang out with my friends and hang out with my family. I get excited to, you know, just make plans finally. Never been able to make plans. So uh, that's just like a, a, it's a relief for sure. One. Hey. Talk your mom, uh, if I may. Uh, the, um, the Warriors just posted the video of your mom's phone call to you where she said she was proud of you, um, and it brought a tear to your eye. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of walk us through what you were thinking there? Uh, everything I've been through in my life, I've been through with my mom, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, literally everything. Um, and so we share this moment together. That's my best friend, that's my hero, uh, that's Superwoman. I think she's the strongest person in this world. Uh, man, I can't wait to, I, I, I know my mom don't care about material things, but I can't wait to uh, repay my mom however I can one day because my mom has sacrificed so much for me to be here, you know. Uh, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, but you know, now that I look back on it, it never seemed that bad because my mom just, she was just bulletproof. She was like a cushion for life, you know? So she protected us from everything. And so the older I get and, you know, I start to become more conscious and aware of things, real life things and how hard life is. You know, life is really hard. Uh, I can't do nothing but stand up and salute my mom because she's just the toughest person in the world. My mom is a gangster. And I mean that in every sense of it. My mom is a real gangster for everything, you know. And so whether that's a new car one day, a new home, uh, new jewelry, I don't care what it is. I got it for my mom because I wouldn't be here without her. I'll give my mom my last. Uh, that's my whole heart. I love her to death. And so thank you, Mom. Uh, this has international ramifications, and if you allow me, there's a whole country with 110 million people crying with you today. Uh, and I'm going to go bilingual because I 110 million de mexicanos, Juan, que hoy están llorando contigo. Porque después de Horacio Llamas, de Eduardo Nájera, de Gustavo Ayón y de Jorge Gutiérrez, tú te has convertido en el quinto mexicano en tener un contrato de esta naturaleza. Y tú hoy no sé si tienes noción 
de lo que le, me, le envías a niños que están en barrios, que no tienen cómo comer y que usan el balón para soñar y que ven a Juan Toscano Anderson y dicen, yo puedo ser él también. Uh -huh. ¿Lo piensas y qué significa para ti en español este día? Y si entiendes lo que significa para México lo que está pasando hoy. Um, sí, lo entiendo un poco. Uh, pues lo entiendo mucho, pero no estoy viviendo ahí, o no me siento exactamente como ellos, los sentimientos de que ellos tienen, pero de redes y mensajes y todo eso, sí, sí puedo ver y uh, es un, un honor. Uh, estoy muy orgulloso de ser mexicano, um, pero es ser un líder, una imagen para niños y no solo en México, en también me mandan mensajes de Venezuela, Argentina, uh, España, todos lugares. Creo que es más que solo mexicanos, es más que latinos. Me, me vean y... I don't know. They find motivation o encuentran motivación. Um, pero, como dijo, es un honor. Y no lo llevo como... Es, es, no es, es algo muy importante muy serio y pues voy a seguir luchando para pues llevar llevarlos a algo más alto. Uh, Juan, uh, Juan, I know that you know you had a couple offers when you're in the G League uh, from teams overseas for significantly more money, uh, but you chose to stick it out and make way less money in the G League. Um, what was kind of your thought process with those decisions, and how are you feeling? You know, now that uh, obviously it's paid off. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a lot that goes into that. Uh, you know, I was really happy in the G League. Uh, I was extremely happy. Uh, even I was only making, what, $3,000 a month, and I was having the time of my life. And I'm a firm believer if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know. Uh, yeah, I could have gone and made more money. Um, But money's not the money's not the answer to everything that I would have, you know, sacrificed to go make that money. You know, uh, my mom's getting older. Uh, my little brother's growing up. My little sister's growing up. I got an older brother who's just moved to Texas. Like I missed out on a lot of their lives, you know, uh, when I went away for college and I, when I was playing overseas. And don't get me wrong, those are the sacrifices that you have to make to, you know, uh, elevate in life. And I'm more than willing to make those sacrifices for my family, but I'm also not going to make those, you know, just for a couple of dollars. Um, and when I say a couple of dollars, I mean, it is a couple of dollars in perspective because no amount of money is going to, you know, give me that time back that I lost with my family. No amount of money is going to, you know, protect me if I get a phone call about my family if something goes wrong and I'm on the other side of the world and I can't make it home. No amount of money is going to, you know, cure those or, cover, you know, band-aid those feelings. And so uh, I was happy. I was in a good situation. Um, I was enjoying basketball, and that's what I do this for is just to really enjoy the game, really enjoy this, this journey that the basketball in life has taken me on. And so um, – I passed up on a few offers over there, and I'm glad I did because had I not, then I would have been making a different type of money, and it's kind of hard to turn down those type of contracts when, you know, they come rolling in. And so uh, I'm just glad that I did everything my way. There were a ton of people who told me that I was making the wrong decision by going to the G League. There were even some people telling me that I shouldn't have come to a camp with the Warriors last year because they didn't have a roster spot and so forth. And so uh, I still did it all my way. And at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, even if I fail, I can always look myself in the mirror and say, you know, I did it Juan's way. And so I'm super proud of that. It's a lot of people out here who just kind of go through the motions and they kind of take everybody else's advice and guidance. And so, uh, yes, I ask for guidance from my OGs, from, you know, my big homies, from vets in the locker room, but I still make every decision based on how I feel in my heart. And so my heart always told me to just follow my dreams, and that's what I did. Hello, Juan. Well, congratulations about your new contract. Hi, First Mike, of all, ahead, you deserve it. Chris, I would like to ask. I would like to ask you. 
if you look back on your career, what was the biggest sacrifice that you made about basketball through your career in Venezuela and Mexico? And also, how proud do you feel that you are a great example for the young kids who start in play ball or who starting to make something in their lives? Yeah, uh, biggest sacrifice? Um, I think everything was a sacrifice. I think everything is kind of equal in that, you know, uh, you put your body on the line every day. Um, you go on to countries where you've never been, where you don't know anybody. Uh, and just leaving it, like I said before, it's the time that you can't get back. And the older I get, the more I am understanding of that. Like, I thought my mom was going to be young forever. I thought my mom was going to be a spunky 35-year-old woman forever, but that's not the case. My mom's getting older, and so... Uh, my mom is all I got, you know, my mom, my brothers and sisters, they all I got. So I hold them near and dear to my heart. And that's why I just feel like this situation is, it was destined. It's God sent for sure, because it's nowhere better than to be at home playing for the home team. I get to enjoy every, everything I get to do with my family. You know, once I leave Chase Center, I can drive across that bridge and go straight home and celebrate all of this with my family. And actually that's what I'm about to go do. So uh, I'm going to go get a nice home-cooked meal with my mom, and now I'm going to leave you off for Jordan Bell. Welcome back, Jordan Bell.